Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about adding text, the very easiest way inside of Resolve 17. Let's jump in, skadoosh! All right, so here I am in Resolve 17 and let's look at a couple different ways to add text. The very first, most basic, easy way to do it is just with a simple text effect. So over here in the effects library, if you don't have this open, make sure that up here, the effects library is bright white. If your media pool is closed, it might actually come up here. But either way, however you open this, if you go down to titles, this will give you choices of a whole bunch of different titles that you can use on your clips from basic stuff like we're gonna use today to like animated stuff that's pretty neat. So if you like any of these, feel free to just drag them on. But if we're talking about just basic text, just grab this title that says text right here, not text plus, just grab it and drag it down into the timeline over your other video. And now here in the timeline, we can move this clip around and trim it and everything just like we would a piece of video. So let's make this the same length as our clip. And I can turn on snapping with this little magnet button here and make sure that just sticks to the end of the video. And now I have my basic text over my video. If I select this clip here in the timeline and go up to the upper right, I can change everything about it in the inspector. And here in the inspector, this is where you adjust the properties of anything that you have selected in the timeline. So for our text, we can obviously change the text. Mountains are epic. And we can change our font to whatever we like. And you know what, let's get. And now we have our basic text over our video with our font changed. And of course we can change the size and the tracking and basically everything that you'd normally be able to change about a piece of text. But what's really cool in this basic text is that you even have options for a drop shadow, which if we zoom in here, if I grab this zero right by offset, I can move this over and that kind of enables this drop shadow and I can change the blur and all of the different properties of it. And actually this basic text effect is pretty powerful. I can add a stroke to the outside of our letters here. I can even add a little box behind our text with this background here. By default, height is at zero, but if I move this up, I'll make a little box and you can adjust this to be exactly the way that you want. For most applications in Resolve, this is probably going to be all that you need. Something to mention is that if you do want to get a little bit fancier and you want to animate certain characters and rotate each letter and do all kinds of crazy stuff, you can't really do that with just the basic text. What you'd have to do is use text plus, which is like text, but stronger, right? Well, not stronger, like bold, stronger, like it has more features and can do more things, right? It has more amenities. And so same thing. So now I have text plus over, which really does a lot of the basic same things. And you actually have less options to begin with here in the inspector, but there's a bunch of different little tabs here that we can go through to change things like the layout and like the transform is a lot more detailed. So you can rotate each character on its own axis. You can shear things. And you can even do stuff like have multiple layers of different styles for your text. So let's zoom in here, take a look. Text plus is broken up into elements, which you can kind of think of as like layers, right? So this first layer by default is just the white text and you can change the color and everything just by clicking on it and making it pink or whatever. But you can also change its default to not be a solid piece of text. You could just have it be the outline or just the boxes around the text. And you can get really creative because this is just one layer and you have up to eight layers. So I could do something like, I don't know, make this first layer white and then the second element, let's enable this and it'll add an outline to it. But maybe I want to put those little boxes behind the characters and I can change that around and get some really cool effects without doing a whole lot of work. And the great thing is this is all linked together. So if you change your text, it all changes. So it's a really slick way to set up just a lot more detailed text. And if you wanna get really, really, really detailed, you can even click on this little button here and it will move your text template into Fusion and you can just go crazy. So that's how you get texty inside of uh, Resolve. Basic text, just use text. And if you wanna get fancy pants, Text plus. So there you go. Text is so added. It was exactly as described. If you want more about Resolve 17 and all these little kind of guides to help you with whatever needs you have, whoops, there is a playlist on Resolve 17 right there. Mm. It includes our crash course, which you should definitely watch if you haven't, because it's like Launchpad McQuack, but with less, dis well, 
I don't know if it's less destruction. It's as much destruction. It's Launchpad McQuack. Who's your favorite DuckTale? <laughs>